Our umpire is Miss Judith Rosula, and our service judge is Mr. Bener Espiritu. Welcome back to the Field Sports Arena. This is day number three, Judgment Day, the day of reckoning as far as Asia and Europe are concerned. This is the final day, and we'll find out who will take home the coveted MVP Cup. Will it be Asia? Will it be Europe? We'll find out. And leading towards the winning of the trophy is our very first match we have for you. It's the world's number one mixed doubles pair of Nathan Robertson and Gail Ems against the Philippines. One and only Asuncion siblings, Kenny and Kenny Vic Asuncion, going to display their wares against the very best in the world at this particular point. Anthony Sutai together with national team coach Martin Araneta. And Martin, this is a matchup we have all been looking forward to. The Phil Sports Arena packed today like it has never been packed before. Right, everybody's been uh, eager for, for this match. Uh, of course, our very own Vic and Kenny Asunshon are uh, ranked number 24 in the world. As we take a look at our PLDT MyDSL player profile, PLDT, the High Velocity Broadband Internet. They were the champions in the 2005 Peru International Open. Quarter finalists in last year's 2004 US Open. And they made it to the round of 16 in the 2004 Asian Championships. So not just contenders, but champions as well. Yes, Anthony. Of course, Vic and Kenny have been uh training hard for exactly this moment. Uh, they've been training since they were eight years old, Anthony, making lots of sacrifices and uh, putting in the discipline needed to reach this level. As we now try to take a look at their opponents, Gail Ams there on your screens. She, of course, won half of that number one tandem. As you take a look at the PLDT MyDSL player profile, PLDT, the high velocity broadband internet. Nathan Robertson and Gail Ems from England, ranked number one in the world, won this year's Swiss Open, won this year's All England Open, finalists at the 2005 German Open, and silver medalists at last year's Athens Olympics. So you'll really have to bring your A game when you come to play against Robertson and Ems, or it could be a short outing. Right, and that 2005 All England win, of course, the All England uh, would be would be the uh, the Wimbledon of badminton of the badminton circuit. As we mentioned, we have a jam-packed Phil Sports Arena, and why not here to support our local players? And they're playing no patsies, not by a long shot. They're playing the number one mixed doubles team in the world. This is something we've been looking forward to since day number one of the MVP Cup. And we're just about ready to get underway here. Well, very important here, I guess, for Kenny and Kenny Vic to get off to a good start. You don't want to give the world's number one mixed doubles pair a chance to get a big lead on you. Right. Uh, the key here is for them to play with a lot of heart, Anthony. Uh, I'm sure going up against the world's number one uh, is very intimidating for them. But, uh, you know, they just have to play with a lot of heart. They should know that the, uh, the entire stadium is right, right there behind them, ready to cheer them on. Well, let's see how big a factor the crowd will play here. They'll try to be a factor. They'll push them towards every single point. Ladies and gentlemen. And of course, you're going to hear Asia, a lot of oohs and ahs every time. They don't. And it has begun. 
Asia versus Europe here in the mixed doubles competition. Day number three of the Manuel V. Pangilinan Badminton Championships. Only here on Solar Sports. We're coming to you live on Solar Sports and on RPN Channel 9. So good evening, Philippines, and good evening, everybody out there watching us as we begin the competition. Service over, love all. Of course, Gail M's uh, successful last night, uh, pairing up with Mia Odina for that final match in the ladies' doubles. One, no. First point going to Europe. These two pairs have actually met before. That was in 2003 in the Korean Open in a qualifying tournament for the Olympics. And the final score there was 15-7, 15-7 for Robertson and Ems. We're tied at one. That was a bit of a miscue from Kenny there. She had the opportunity to apply more pressure. Just not hitting the shot she wanted. Oh, that's an ace by Kenevic. And Robertson there with a wry smile, knowing he got beat. And the Philippines with an early lead here. They're up 3-1. Service over, 1-3. And the crowd here continues to be a factor. Vic, Vic looks like he settled, settled down very quickly. Once again, another moment of indecision. As far as Nathan Robertson is concerned, And there's another point for the Philippines and for Asia. Excellent aggressive play from the Asuncion siblings. This is exactly the way they wanted to start. And already three bad calls made here by Nathan Robertson. Great defense shown by the Asuncion siblings. Asia living up to the challenge here. Robertson and Ems were all over them in that rally. I mean, they were they were hitting hitting their smashes from the middle of the court, and yet they managed to get it back. It is now 6-1. Another serve here for Asia.
Well, the players want a towel off, and look at this. Signifying their approval of what they see so far. The pro-Asia crowd letting the Asuncion siblings hear it. And that can really perk up a player. I, I, have, to, I have to say, Vic, Vic Asuncion really shines in uh, international play. Anthony, I've seen him... Uh, I've seen him compete both locally and internationally, and his his talent, you know, just really shines uh, against international competition. And right now, they're up against the very best in the world. And this number one pair of Nathan Robertson and Gail Ems in a dogfight. Now they have to be careful with uh, unforced errors like that. Giving uh, the team from Europe an easy way back into the, into the match, into this game. Well, I think Nathan Robertson is a little bit too relaxed here in this match, at least to begin with. You're right. A little indecision there between uh, Robertson and Ems. You don't see that very often. Fantastic rally right there. That was absolutely excellent from both these players. And we're just midway into the first game, Anthony. Look at Asia under extreme duress. Robertson and Ems pouring on the pressure. And Vic did all he could just to keep that ball in play. And Europe has got to be impressed with the showing right now of Team Asia. Ranked 24 in the world. You wouldn't think, you actually wouldn't think that. They're now up seven to two. Game number one. You know when uh, a team, a lower ranked team plays against a team uh, as highly ranked as Robertson and Ems, sometimes, sometimes they feel, they get surprised, you know, when they, when they get the early lead. And uh, Vic and Kenny just have to keep it together and keep their aggressive, ag aggressive play going to win this game. Just out of the reach of Vic Asuncion. Robertson and M slowly inching their way back into this game. Five, seven. M's there for the put away. And now within two. It is now 6-7, uh -huh. and right behind are Robertson and Ems. Right, and those are exactly the, uh, those are the unforced errors they need to stay away from. He was under no pressure. Seven. And now we're tied at seven apiece here in game number one. The world's number one pair from Europe making a rally. 
and staging a great comeback right now. Great way for Vic to finish off that rally. That was a loose return from Gail Ems. Again, an unforced error there. Ten, seven, second serve. Well, Robertson and Ems making a real push here. They were down by quite a lot when they earned the serve, and right now they're comfortably up by three. Kenny was a little slow to react to that uh, drop shot. She should have had that. A bit over eager there was Ems. And the Asunchons now with a chance to make a run of their own. Another point for Asia. But obviously, Robertson and Ems have settled down here in game number one. That has got to be a point of concern for Asia. Eight, ten, second serve. They want this mixed doubles. It's worth three points. Quite possibly could have been a one point for Europe. Ems not clearing the net. The yeah, Asuncion is very fortunate there that the shuttlecock caught the dig. Watch it again on the instant replay. They were both caught out of position. Well, Ems has actually come up with a couple of errors there on the net. And Robertson with maybe two or three indecisive moves in letting it go out, but it actually landed in. We have a jam-packed house here inside the Phil Sports Arena. And everyone liking what they see. Well, a great effort here by both these teams, by all four players. And it's Robertson and Ems with a one-point lead. Service over, 10, 9. Service now back with Robertson and Ems, looking for more points. Again, Gail Ems with an uncharacteristic error at the net. Well, just maybe the pressure might be getting to her early here. Playing against a hostile crowd. And an opponent who you should be walking all over. But right now, they seem to be dominating you. Again, excellent aggressive play from Vic and Kenny and Sean. There is just no let up. As far as Asia is concerned. And now looking to tie things up. You're in game number one.
a great rally right here. And there's the kill. And we are tied at 10 here in game number one to the utter dismay of Robertson and Ems and to the sheer delight of every single Filipino here inside the Field Sports Arena. Well, go, go, Kenny and Kennevik is what the fans here are crying. Can it help them? Pro can it help propel them to victory? I mean, the past two, 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 two evenings, we've seen uh, the whole arena cheering, just, just the bad, the badminton action. But tonight, they've got, uh, they've got their hearts into this with uh, Vic and Kenny and Sean playing for them. They have just one rallying point here tonight. It's not Asia. It's a great tight net shot from Kenny and Sean setting up that big smash from Vic. And Asia now with the lead at 11-10. I feel if there's one one weakness uh, in in this Bears game, it's their service, especially Kenny's service. She needs to do some work on that. Well, Vic Asuncion looks like a man on a mission. That one just going wide. We're tied at 11. They gotta keep their nerves together, Anthony. Stay away from those un unforced errors. 12, 11, and keep Gail Ems and uh, Nathan Robertson from coming back and controlling this game. ago the chair umpire missed it but Robertson is once again rubbing the head of that shuttle across his racket he got a warning two days ago he did oh very fortunate net court there for Asia but nonetheless, we're tied at 12. Well, I've always believed the good players make their own luck anyhow. <laughs> that, was, that was also a very loose shot from Nathan Robertson. We are tied at 12 here in game number one. And the crowd here at the Field Sports Arena absolutely thrilled at what they are witnessing. A great show from Kenny and Kenny Vic Asuncion. There's that loose shot you talked about. And Vic Asuncion taking advantage. Pouncing on that one. And there is the celebration. But now they'll have to buckle down to business. Vic and Kenny trying to push Gail Ems to the baseline. But Gail Ems just holding her own there. Gail Ems there taking advantage of that opportunity. 
They get the serve. And now looking to put some points across their name. Excellent defense from Vickers and Sean. And they forced the error from Gail Ems. Three, three excellent defensive shots from Vickers and Sean in that rally. He's just countering their offense as soon as it crosses the net. Well, a poor serve there from Nathan Robertson. And that bit of an error just could cost him here in game number one. It is Asia with a one point lead. Two points away from game number one. The crowd now on the edge of their seats. Oh! Now just one point away from game number one. Just a point away, Anthony, before this arena gets very, very loud. We mentioned their very first meeting in 2003. It is a 15-7, 15-7 convincing win by the world's number one pair, Nathan Robertson and Gail Ems over Kennevik Asunchon and Kenny Asunchon. Right now, the Nathan, outcome could be very, very different. Nathan Robertson taking a break here, trying to break the momentum these past two rallies have given to Vic and Kenny. Ready? And they have two game points. Game point number two coming up. And the fans here want the siblings to get it. Oh! It goes out! And game number one, going to Asia. As far as Europe is concerned, an absolute shock. Looking at the faces of each and everyone seated on that bench of Europe, cannot believe it. They cannot believe it. Total disbelief is what is written on all their faces right now. Quickly, the coach of Europe rushes out to Nathan Robertson and to Gail Ems. Team Europe was really counting on, I mean, I think they were very confident they were going to take this one quite easily.